Few artists blend genres, languages, and emotions like Stromier. The Belgian singer, rapper, songwriter, and producer, known for his fusion of electronic hip hop and Afro beat sounds, has captivated the world with his unique voice, striking visuals, and poignant lyrics. But his journey has been far from conventional. Today, we're diving into the life and career of Stromae, a maestro of modern music whose creative highs and personal struggles have shaped his distinctive path. Born as Paul Van Haver on March 12, 1985, in Brussels, Stromae grew up in a multicultural environment. His mother was Belgian, while his father was Rwandan. Stromae's upbringing was deeply influenced by these two worlds, but his life took a tragic turn at just nine years old when his father was killed in the Rwandan genocide. This loss would profoundly shape the themes of identity, absence, and reflection in his work. Stromae's love for music began in his teens, initially exploring hip-hop and forming a rap group with friends. Adopting the stage name Stromae, a play on the word maestro in French slang, he embraced production and started making a name for himself in Brussels' music scene. But his big break came with a song that would become one of Europe's most unforgettable hits. In 2009, Stromae released Allures on Dance, a song that captured the zeitgeist with its catchy beat and darkly ironic lyrics. It became a massive hit, topping charts in more than 15 countries and catapulting Stromae into international stardom. But while people were dancing, Stromae was asking a deeper question. What are we dancing away from? In 2013, Stromae released his critically acclaimed album, Racine Carré. This album featured iconic tracks like Papa Utai, an emotional exploration of fatherhood and loss. Maman dit que lorsqu'on cherche bien, on finit toujours par trouver. Elle dit qu'il n'est jamais... And Formidable, a haunting portrayal of despair. Tu étais formidable, j'étais formidable. Stromae's music was more than just catchy melodies. It was storytelling, often addressing complex social issues like relationships, identity, mental health, and loneliness, all through powerful visuals and lyrics. Stromae's live performances were legendary. Known for his theatrical stage presence, he brought a sense of art and emotion that made each show an experience. Fans were not just watching a concert, they were watching a narrative unfold, each song telling a part of a larger story. By the end of the Racine Carré tour, Stromae was on top of the world. But as it turned out, the price of fame was taking a toll. After years of non-stop work and grueling tours, Stromae was exhausted. In 2015, he took a break from music, partly to recover from health issues related to malaria medication he took while in Africa. The physical side effects were intense, but they only scratched the surface. Stromae also struggled with mental health, battling anxiety, and feeling disconnected from his own life. He stepped back from the public eye, leaving fans wondering if they'd ever hear from him again. During his hiatus, Stromae focused on other creative outlets. He married Coralie Barbier, and together they launched his fashion line, Mosert, which mirrored his love for bold visuals and unique patterns. He also stayed connected to music, working as a producer and writing for other artists, but there was no new music from Stromae himself. Then, after nearly a decade of silence, Stromae returned in 2022 with the single Sante. It was a celebration of ordinary workers, a toast to the people often overlooked. He followed it with the album Multitude, exploring diverse sounds and languages, blending Afrobeat, Latin influences, and even Asian-inspired sounds. The album's Stromae's Return was met with massive enthusiasm from fans and critics alike. Multitude wasn't just a comeback album, it was a redefinition of his sound, showing that even after years away, Stromae hadn't lost his edge. His music continued to evolve, embracing world sounds while staying true to his roots. In 2022, Stromae performed L'Enfer on live television, addressing his struggles with depression and mental health. It was a moment of vulnerability, 
one that resonated deeply with audiences around the world. Stromier reminded us that even though he creates music for millions, he's just as human as anyone else, grappling with the same challenges. Today, Stromier stands as a trailblazer, a voice for the voiceless, and an artist unafraid to break boundaries. His music speaks to universal experiences while also touching on deeply personal struggles. His return to the stage proves that some artists aren't just made by the industry, they shape it. So, whether he's making us dance, laugh, or think, Stromayer is a true maestro of our time, a storyteller who's taken his audience on a journey through joy, pain, and everything in between. Here's to the one and only Stromayer. May he continue to inspire and move us with his music. Ah, c'est génial. Manque quelque chose. Un son de, de bignou. 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 Un, un son de canard malade. Bignou. Non. Écoute, écoute, listen to me, what Son de canard malade, quoi. Bignou. Si, non, bah.